What is the image and the character of God? Okay, the image and the character of God. I'll begin with the image. The image, many people, they are very behind when it comes to understanding of the image. The image of God is not the way you look, it's not the way I look, it's not the way we look. And scientifically, we have got the faces of women and the faces of men. Quite alright, I know there are men who look like women, there are women who look like men. But when, as they are growing up, there is something that appears like beards, it will show that this one is a man, in spite of the way they look. So the image of God is not the way we look. If it was the way we look, the whole world, we could have been twins. We are not twins, we have got Chinese, we have got white people, we have got Africans, we have got different kind of people. We are not looking the same. Now, what is the image of God? In Genesis 1 verse 26, that's when God had an idea. He said, let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. Image is the way, is the way somebody looks like. But it, at that moment, he could not mean the way he was looking, he, he, the way he appears. God is not even a man. The Bible says God is a spirit. Those who worship him should worship him in truth and in spirit. Now, what is the image of God? In Genesis 2 verse 7, God picked the soul from the ground and he created a person. Before he placed the breath of life, a person was like a monument. A person was like a pillar without any movement. So, if we are to say, the way I look, the way we look, is the way God looks. Meaning God came from the soil because our physical body came from the soil. Yes, I know. He said, I knew you before I formed you in thy mother's womb. So he created us out of the soil. The image of God is something that we obtain from God. And what is that thing? It is the breath of life. So number one, the breath of life is the image of who? God. So even drunk as prostitute, anyone who has got the breath of God, has got the image of God. We could not lose the image of God. We lost the garden of Eden. Adam was placed out of the garden, not out of the image. He walked out with the image of God. He was still in the image of God. So the image of God is the breath of life. God is the living God. So as you are living, meaning you have got the image of God. Now what is the character of God? The character of God is to know good and evil. Is to differentiate, to distinguish between evil and good. The time that they ate the fruit, the Bible says their eyes were open. So the first thing that will happen when you, are be when you begin to have the character of God, what will happen to you is that your eyes will be open. Because God sees everywhere. In, in, in Psalms 14, verse 1, the Bible says, uh, the fool says in their heart that there is no God. And God sees everyone on earth. So God sees. So the first thing that will happen to a person, the one who is having the character of God, their eyes will be open. And the second, they will know what is good and what is bad. In Genesis 23, verse 22, God, Genesis 3, sorry, verse 22, God said, now man has become like us, knowing good and bad. So when you are knowing the good things and you are able to differentiate them, meaning you are becoming like a God, and you will not be living your life anyhow, and you will not perish like anyone, Hosea 4 verse 6, the Bible says, My people perish because of lack of knowledge. So to have the image of God is to have the breath of God. To have the character of God is to know good from evil, to differentiate them. I think I've answered it.